We created a separate feature module for dashboard related features in one of the previous lectures of this course. So here we have this dashboard module which contains the dashboard related components, directives and other imports. So all these components which you see here, these are related to dashboard. In the same way, these imports which we are making, these imports are required for these components because in these components, we are using directives which is provided by these built-in modules. Now, if we go to route module.ts, there we are also defining some routes related to dashboard. So for example, this overview route, it is related to dashboard feature and this stats route also, it is related to dashboard feature. So if we go to our application, you will notice that if a user is not logged in, we are not seeing the dashboard link. But if I log in a user, and if I click on this login button, now we are able to see this dashboard link. And this dashboard link, it is a drop down link, and there we have this overview and stats link. So when we click on this overview link, it will take us to the overview page. It will render the overview component and when we will click on this stats link, it will render the stats component. So these routes here, it is related to that feature. So what we can do is we can move the dashboard related routes also into the dashboard module file because it is related to dashboard feature. And in this way, we will keep everything related to dashboard feature in a single dashboard module, including routes. So here, what we are going to do is before this ng module, let's go ahead and let's create a property. Let's call it routes. And it is going to be of type routes. Now, in order to use this routes, we also need to import it from angular slash router. So let's write that import statement. So we want to import routes from angular slash router and to this we are going to assign an array and in that array we are going to define some routes now here we have this error because here we are creating this routes outside of the dashboard module class so here it, it will be a variable and not a property okay so now that error is gone and inside this routes array what i will do is i will cut these dashboard related routes and let's go to dashboard module.ts and there let's create that route okay now here since we want to use this can activate function we are going to cut it from here this import statement and let's paste it in dashboard module okay and here the path will change so from the current directory we need to move one directory up there we will have this auth cards folder and in there we have this auth card file let's save this file and what we will also do is we will remove unused imports so this one we will remove from here and from the router module also we are not using these imports we are not using these components so i will remove it from here and also this dashboard component because that also we have moved to the dashboard module let's save this file all right so here we are creating our route but angular does not know about this route yet for that what we need to do is in the imports array we are already importing the router module on that router module we are going to call for child and there we need to pass this routes now why we are using this for child method because earlier if you remember when we created this route there we used for root method as you can see okay here we are using for root method but here in the feature module we are using for child method so remember that when we call for root method on the router module it simply tells angular that that route is defined for the complete application and also the for root method can be used only once now in the feature module which we essentially import in our main app module so this dashboard feature module we are importing in our app module right so in this feature module we use for child method 
and this for child method simply tells that this route which we are creating this route is basically for that particular feature module now at the end what happens is the routes which we are creating here and the other routes which we have here on which we are using this for root all these routes will be combined okay so these routes and these routes which we have defined they all will be combined in the end okay now here what we are doing is we are creating these routes in the same module file but just like how we did for router module we can also create a separate file for defining these routes in that way we will keep our dashboard module also a bit leaner so again in the dashboard folder i am going to create one more file and i'll simply call it as dashboard route dot module dot ts so this is also going to be a module file and here we are going to create and export a class let's call this class dashboard route module and in order to make this class a module class we are going to decorate it with at ng module decorator and to use this ng module decorator we also need to import it from angular slash co there we need to pass an anonymous object and now what we will do is we will cut this routes from here and we will paste it inside this dashboard route module okay now in order to use this connectivate function this overview component and the stats component we also need to import them so let's copy those import statements so i'll copy these two import statements let's paste it here and then we also need the overview component so here we have the import for the overview component let's copy this one and let's paste it here okay now again in order to use this routes we also need to import it from angular slash router so that also i will cut it from here because now we are not using this routes here and i'll paste it here in the dashboard route module okay let's save the changes so the errors from this file is gone now let's see what errors do we have here if we scroll down okay from here also let's remove this line okay so we have removed everything related to routing from this dashboard module and now we are creating our routes in the dashboard router module as you can see here we have imported this routes class from this angular slash router and now all we have to do is first we need to specify the import array and there again we need to import router module okay so let's import this router module and on that again we need to call for child because this route which we are creating it is for a feature module and as i mentioned for a feature module we use for child method when we want to create a route for the entire application at that time we can use for root method and for root method can be used only once okay so let's say if we have three feature modules and for those three feature modules we want to create routes separately then we will use this for child method three times then in the app module what we will do is on this router module we will use for root method so all those three routes will be combined into a single route and then it will be used for the entire application i hope this point is clear so to this for child let's pass this routes property this routes variable okay and now we also need to add export array and from here we are going to export the router module so just understand that the routes which we have created we have created it in the router module so this router module now knows about this route okay and in the route module.ts also we are creating the route you see we are using for root on this router module so this router module also knows about these two routes so at the end when we are importing this router module in our app module this route module will have these two routes and it will also have 
this route okay now all we have to do is in the dashboard module because it is this dashboard module which we are importing in the app module here we are importing dashboard module so this dashboard module should be aware about this dashboard route module then only the app module will know about this dashboard route module right so here in the exports we are also going to export dashboard route module okay so now we have imported dashboard route module in the dashboard module we have imported dashboard module in the app module so the app module is now aware about the routes which we have defined in the dashboard route module about these routes so this router module it has this route in the app module when we are importing the router module this router module contains these two routes right because on the router module we have used for child method and this router module in the route modules on that router module we are also adding these two routes so now the app module is aware about all the routes which we have created on this router module so let's save the changes here and let's see if our application is working as expected or not let's go to our application and here we have this error router outlet it is not a known element that's because from the dashboard module.ts we have removed that router module so let's add that router module again okay let's save the changes let's go to our application so that error is gone and let's go to overview page it is working as expected let's go to stats page it is working as expected let's go to home page this home link is also working and if i click on this logout we should also log out from the application so all the routes all the links are working as expected the only change which we have done is we have separated the dashboard related routes in a separate module file this dashboard route module.ts and we are importing that module file in the dashboard module this makes our dashboard module a little bit leaner and it also makes this route module a little bit leaner because from this route module we have removed all the dashboard related feature routes into a separate file now before we wrap up this lecture i want to mention few things so here you see in the dashboard route module we are using some components for example we are using this overview component we are using this stat components right and in the dashboard module where we are importing this dashboard route module there we are declaring those components so if i comment it here this dashboard component we do not have any error in this file also we do not have any error but if i save the changes and if we go to our application you will notice that we have an error and the error is because when we are using this overview component the angular application is not aware about this overview component because we have not declared this overview component anywhere in the dashboard component where we were declaring it we have commented it so it is not declared in the dashboard module also and in the app module also we are not declaring that overview component so it's not enough to just specify the component in the router as we are doing here you must declare it in the module so in the module file you must declare it then only angular will recognize it and allow it to be used in your application so this is one point which you need to remember another important point which i want to highlight here is that since we have created a separate routing for our dashboard module now we don't need to export these components because these components earlier we were using in our router module so that's why we needed to export them so that it can be used in the router module but now these components which we are exporting from here it is only being used in the dashboard router module it is not being used in the app module or in the route module so what we can do is we can simply go ahead and we can remove these exports or uh, for now i will simply comment it and if you save the changes and if you go to our application we should not be getting any error as you can see let's try to log into the application so we are successfully logged in let's quickly verify the routes 
So all the routes are also working. And if I click on this logout button, we should also get logged out from the application. So everything is working as expected. Since we were using this dashboard component, create task component and task detail component earlier in this route module, when we were creating some routes for the dashboard feature, that time it was required to export it so that it can be used in the router module. But now since we are using it in the dashboard route module only, and we are not using these components anywhere else, and we are importing this dashboard route module in this dashboard module, we don't need to export them at all. All right, so this is all from this lecture. If you have any questions, then feel free to ask it. Thank you for listening and have a great day.